So the fourth use case that I want to discuss and demonstrate today is logging onto the Salesforce application using PKI based authentication. So what we are going to use is basically certificate based authentication. So in order to do that, let's first open Salesforce. And as you noticed that I have a Thales IDP because this is something which is being integrated with Salesforce. So I'm going to use the Thales IDP as an authentication method for this application. And since it is being integrated with the SafeNet Trusted Access, I'm being redirected to SafeNet Trusted Access portal. So I'm going to use the same user, James, and log in with certificate based authentication. So what, what you see here in the right on the screen is there are two type of um, certificates that are currently available on my um, USB uh, e-token which I have plugged into my, my laptop. So I'm going to choose James DJ because that's the certificate, that's the user I'm trying to authenticate with. And you will notice that with certificate based authentication, I am able to log into the Salesforce application securely. Right, so that's that's another uh, factor of authentication. So far, what we have discussed is we we logged into Office 65 with uh, FIDO and uh, pin based authentication. Then we logged into Azure admin portal with FIDO and push based authentication. And uh, th thirdly, we logged into Zoom with Windows Hello and push based authentication. And now we just tested Salesforce authentication with PKI. So what we what we have seen so far is we are able to log into each of those applications using various different forms of authentication, various using different authentication methods. So Star is giving you various authentication methods to choose as per the security context of the application. For example, Azure Admin Portal was critical, so we used FIDO and push-based authentication over there. Similarly, for Zoom, we used push-based authentication and Windows Hello. So with one single platform, SafeNet Trusted Access, you are getting a wide range of authenticators to choose from and depending on the criticality of the application, you can easily tweak or combine what sort of authentication method should you be using. 